Well, good morning, all you lovely people. Welcome back to the grumpy old git in the corner. Sporting today, best cabbage gear. You know, there is a downfall. You don't want to fall over in public with it. The vegans see you as a free meal. <laughs> but, oh, what a busy weekend it's been. <coughs> you know, the big story was the um, attack Friday on the Russian concert goers. And, of course, within minutes, the Russians started to attribute blame. Uh, <laughs> an extremist Islamic group claimed responsibility for it. But, nope, Russia ain't having that. It's down to the Ukraine, according to them, and put the blame squarely on the Ukraine. Well, personally, I don't give a crap um, about either side in that fucking war or any other war that's going on. Um, <laughs> yeah, our country is suffering because of it, but that's only by our own government's actions, not theirs. But I've got to ask the question, why would the Ukraine do this? In my opinion, they didn't. And they wouldn't. Why? Well, think about it. That's an outrage and it's an atrocity. It's a terrorist attack. Now, do you think that Ukraine would still get the support that they're getting from various countries around the world, including our own, against many's wills in this country? I don't like funding it. Nobody else that I know does either. And openly state that we shouldn't be funding it but we are but would they risk losing all that support by doing this I don't think they would I don't think they're that stupid you know no they're saying or others are claiming that it's the Islamists but think about this Russia had, I think it was, the sixth largest Jewish population of any country in the world. Um, that was a little while back when I saw that figure, and I don't see any reason why it should change. But, yeah, I can't see the Ukrainians being that stupid. They know they've got too much to lose by that shit. Just my opinion. But then nearer home, back again now, we see the Met Police show themselves up for what they really are. Um, uh, there was a protest or a march or whatever it was being billed as in London. Many people carrying the Union flag. And yet again, we see the police trying to provoke a situation. Over what? Over a can of fucking beer. Okay, fair enough, it might be an alcohol-free zone. But for the sake of keeping the peace on a day, in a day, you'd think that they would overlook a couple of cans of beer, wouldn't you? I didn't see anybody falling down drunk. Yet yeah, another minority will have their protests or their march or their rally, and they get away with absolutely fucking everything but not if you're holding a Union flag. Now, the police don't have the balls to stop them. But I'll show the clip um, in a minute, but um, i got to say a big up to the guys that were there that didn't rise, um, other than verbally, to the police. They realised what they were trying to do. They were trying to provoke a situation where they could go in and bust heads and violently arrest people for doing nothing. But they didn't hold back with the verbals. <laughs> now, if anybody still thinks the police are unbiased and working against this country, you really need to give your head a wobble. Because they're not. 
And then we have my old mate there again. Hmm. This fucking idiot. Telling us that a hundred cap grand a year is not a huge wage, it's nothing out of the norm. You arrogant little bastard. Not an, a huge wage. Tell that to somebody who's trying to feed a family and keep a fucking roof over their heads with an absolute fraction of that to play with. You know, these are people in a situation that you have helped create and then you've got the fucking cheek to stand there and mock them by saying that. There's only one thing you need in your life and it's called a gallows. Same as you and the rest of your fucking cohorts in there that have put this country in this mess. <sighs> Unbelievable. And now the big story today is the Chinese hacking. Well, we knew it was going on. It's been going on for fucking years. Only these pricks in power have only just realised it. They've got their mucky little fingers into everything. Don't you realise that? And only now you're doing something about it. Yeah, that, that's about right. And again, over the weekend, old proper Charlie whinging about his recovery from cancer isn't happening as quick as he would like it to. Yeah, not a fucking thought for anybody out here that will never recover from it. A lot of them will never even get the treatment for it because of the way your government has fucked up the NHS. So I would suggest you take your chubby little fingers, put one in each ear, and fuck off and sit in the corner. Unbelievable. Unbelievable what's going on in this country today. But I'm going to leave it there for today, folks, so I won't bore you any longer. Um, videos may be a bit sparse this week. Obviously, we've got um, the daughter's wedding coming up next weekend, and there's quite a bit of preparation to be done for that. Um, but I will put videos out where I can. Um, I will be doing the live on Wednesday, as normal. So, 7 o'clock onwards. That's where you'll find me. But until then, guys, as always, stay safe. Stay absolutely strong. And stay free from the bullshit that's coming out now. Take care, guys.